not invent and pioneer if you cannot accept failure. To, to, to invent, you need to experiment. And if, it's, if you know in advance that it's going to work, it is not an experiment. And so that's a very important thing. You, you know, it's a, the, they are inseparable twins, failure and invention. And so you have to be willing to do that. And it's embarrassing to fail. Um, it, you know, it's always embarrassing to fail. But you have to say, no, that's not how this works. If I said to you, you have a 10% chance of a, a, with a particular decision, a 10% chance of a 100x return. You should take that bet every time, but you're still gonna be wrong nine out of 10 times, and it's gonna feel bad nine out of 10 times. And in, 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 with technology, the outcomes, the results can be very long-tailed. The, it's very, the payoff is, can be very asymmetric, which is why you should do so much experimentation. You know, people, everybody knows that if you swing for the fences, you hit more home runs, but you also strike out more. But with the baseball, that analogy doesn't go far enough because with baseball, no matter how well you connect with the ball, you can only get four runs. The success is capped at four runs. But in business, every once in a while, you step up to the plate and you hit the ball so hard, you get a thousand runs. And so when, that, when you have that kind of asymmetric payoff and you know, one, at, one at back can get you a thousand runs, it encourages you to experiment more. It's the right business decision to experiment more. It's also better for your customers. Customers like um, the successful experiments. Failure is part of life. I mean, uh, the difference for me though is I look at failure as a stepping stone to success. It's a, it's a speed bump. Uh, I know I'm gonna fail, um, but it's not failure if you learn something. And so, gosh, I've, I've made so many mistakes. I've screwed so many things up, but every time I do, it just becomes it becomes a way for me to explain to someone else what it takes. You know, it's like, here's what I've done. I, I think I have the ability to influence people because I talk about my failures. I talk about all the things that mess me up, but I show people that I didn't let it stop me and you don't need to stop you. And I think, I think that's really the secret right. in that area. And if everything you touch was successful, you First probably not to relate to people as much. No, you'll be relate. And also it's be total bullshit. Right, right. And everyone knows it's bullshit. And also you'd be bored silly. Right. I mean, think about it. If you just said, I want this and it happened, I want this and it happened, you know, people don't value what they don't fight for. You know, it's like you see kids sometimes, in a, you know, your parents will say, you're not gonna value this if you don't work for it. And your kid going, I'll value it, just give it to me, right? <laughs> but it's true, yeah. you know, the things yeah. we've worked the hardest for, we value the most. Yeah. So I think, you know, the purpose of a goal is not getting it anyway. The purpose of a goal, you know, is what, who you become. Who right. you become is gonna make you happier, it's gonna yeah. make you sad. Yeah. So um, I, I'm not looking for an effortless approach. Sure, there's, sure, sure. there's no 